What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, T. I'm Tasha. And welcome to the Adventures of TNT. TNT. Now, we are back doing some more comedy in which we just finished up some Bill Burr. Uh, and now we're going back to George Carlin. We started our George Carlin journey uh, about, what, last week or two weeks ago? It was like two weeks ago. Okay, two weeks ago. And the first one we did was Death Penalty, in which it was hilarious. 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 Yes, you okay, let me know. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> You were like, you know, George Carlin, he's definitely one of those um, intelligent comedians. Mm -hmm. And he has intelligent comedy. And that's something that I really, really enjoyed about the death penalty uh, yeah. bit. It was really funny. So today we're back doing this one. This is seven words you can't say on TV. Uh, interesting. Let's see where he goes with this. Sometimes, well, hell yeah. Sometimes it's okay, but not all the time. That's oh God, the, they're the so only different. words that yeah, seem younger. to have that restriction. I mean, there are a lot of words you can say whenever you want, you know. Pneumonia! Nobody gives you a lot of... All right, you can't yell at the hospital a great deal, but what the hell? <laughs> there are words that you can say, no problem. Topography! No one has ever gone to jail for screaming topography. But there are some words that you can go to jail for. Like what? There are some words... That we just have decided we will not say all the time. Sometimes. Yeah, there's some words you can't say, like if you're on a plane, because if you say it, oh, they'll send you, they'll put you in jail. Bomb. Right. That's yeah. right. All right. Some words you, you can't even say that on YouTube. Oh, yeah. should he, are you gonna have to beep that out? No, I'm not bleeping none of this out. Oh. But you already, we know, we, there, we know there's certain words that we can't yeah. say. They won't put us in jail though, but. They're censoring us. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. If you're running through the jungle chasing somebody that we're at war with, you can holler them. If you're shooting a criminal, it's okay. It's the all-American thing. Dirty fucking crook. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're with the bishop's wife at lunch, it's better not to ask for the goddamn lettuce. What? You know what I mean? It's just like we've decided there'd be some words we won't say all the time. And I was just trying to find out which words they were. For sure. All of them. Oh. I wanted a list. Because nobody gives you a list. That's the problem. They don't give you a list. Wouldn't you think it'd be normal if they didn't want you to say something to tell you what it is? True. Nobody even tells you when you're a kid what the words are that you're supposed to avoid. You have to say them to find out which ones they are. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> oh, fuck! <laughs> that's two. <laughs> oh, ma, that's enough trial and error, huh? <laughs> Please, ma, give me a list, huh? All right, you're six years old now, and here's the list of words your dad and I don't ever want to hear you say. Oh, hey, thanks, Ma. Boy, that's going to save me an ass kicking or two. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you never know what's going to be on the list. Because it's always somebody else's list. Mm. Oh. You didn't make that up. Somebody oh. told you that shit. They told you better. You better not say that. So you gotta... And you don't know what's gonna be on their list. God. People's lists even change from day to day. Some yeah. people on Friday night got a list, you know, not about two or three words. Sunday morning, goddamn, there's 27 words. <laughs> These are the same people two days later. Different list. Yeah. So you gotta kind of watch out what you're gonna believe from them. The trouble is, I was trying to find out what these words might be. And I wanted to know the ones that you could never say on television. I mean the filthy words that are always filthy. There are a lot of these little two-way, double entendre words that have two meanings, words that are okay part of the time. I call them like part-time filth. Some of these words, they're only 50% okay. dirty. You have okay. words like ass. Ass is hardly even a dirty word anymore, but it has a few meanings that you can't say on television. That's what I was talking about. What can you say on television? That's another one of those places where we can't use these words all the time. But some of them are all right some of the time. Ass is all right on television. You can say on television things like, well, you've made a perfect ass of yourself tonight. But you can't say, Look hey, at ass. let's go get some ass. <laughs> Bitch. Bitch is another word like that. Same kind of word. It's the only dirty part of the time. Depends on what you mean by bitch. You might be the lady from the San Diego Zoo visiting one of the Tonight Shows, and you might just have a bunch of little canines with you there. One of them is a female. You say, there's the bitch, Johnny, and it's okay, fine. Just don't refer to the singer the same way. That's all. <laughs> is that bitch going to do another number? Yes. Are you Animals stupid, are fine. Me? On those two-way words. And that's it. That's what I was trying to find. The words that were always dirty, not just part of the time but completely filth. Well, 
in, in looking for these words, I kept finding new categories. We have so many ways of describing these dirty words. Mm. It's, well, we have more ways to describe dirty words than we actually have dirty, dirty words. words. Yeah. That seems a little strange it to me. Uh, yeah. It seems to indicate that somebody was awfully interested in these words. <laughs> they kept referring to them. They called them bad words, dirty, filthy, foul, vile, vulgar, vulgar. coarse, <laughs> in poor taste, unseemly, street talk, gutter talk, locker room language, mm. oh. barracks talk. Bawdy, naughty, saucy, raunchy, rude, crude, lewd, lascivious, yeah. indecent, profane, obscene, blue, off color. Like he's such a profane. Yeah, risque, risque, suggestive, <laughs> cursing, cussing, swearing, and all I could think of was shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. <laughs> Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. That was my original list. I knew it wasn't complete. Oh, man. But it was a starter set. <laughs> a starter set. Shit, piss, fuck... Yes, WBAI is the one who played them. Shit, piss, fuck, cunt, cocksucker, motherfucker, and tits. Now, that was the original list. We've added a few words since then. We've added fart, turd, and twat. <laughs> And I know there are some other words that many of you are wondering about, why they haven't been considered, why they haven't shown up on the list thus far. We're looking at them all very closely. Some of your favorites might make the list this year. Asshole, ball bag, hard on, piss hard, blue balls, taint, nookie, snatch box, nookie. pussy, pecker, pecker head, pecker tracks, jism, joint, donnaker, dork, poontang. Cornhole and dingleberry. <laughs> dingleberry, a very popular word. And to my way of thinking, dingleberry, a rather innocent sounding word. Dingleberry sounds Christmassy to me, you know. <laughs> Let's put one on the tree, Dad. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're definitely going to have to go oh, back and try to find the full bit for that. That, that is was great. Funny. Yeah. I love how he performs yes he is oh, very man. expressive yes and i was just like really like you get into it into it because he's like you just said a, a performer yeah and this was kind of relatable for you yeah cause... because we had you know i had told you back in the day um it, it, i said i asked you i said babe how old were you when you realized that you could curse <laughs> And, cuss. Or cuss <laughs> and not suffer repercussions. He's just like, and you. And my parents then just pop up out the blue. <laughs> right, yeah, you were kind of like, I don't know. And I was sitting here thinking to myself, yeah, I was eight years old. I was in the, the second grade. Mm -hmm. And I went to school and I fell down and I, 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 I swore. I mm -hmm. said shit or something. Mm -hmm. And I, I looked around and. Nobody saw, nobody said anything. Yeah, your mom didn't yeah. pop up behind a bush to beat you. Right, and so it was like at that moment, I knew that I could swear. Ooh. And I would swear outside the house, but inside the house, I never yeah. cursed. Like in our family, family of six, we never cursed at each other. We never right. said anything. Mm -hmm. I did, actually didn't start cursing in front of my parents until I was an adult. I was already moved out. I was 21, had my own place. And you still <clears throat> got to, like, be careful. Yeah, though. yeah. Well, yeah, I, rem know. I remember it. it. It was like I tested the water. I was, oh, waters. I was, I was around my as dad. As an adult? As an adult. I was around my dad. We were hanging out. And I probably was like, you know, shit. You had and some I, balls, babe. Yeah, and I looked over and he just, he <laughs> didn't care. <laughs> and I was like, okay, I'm in there. But uh, but anyway, um, this was an awesome performance. Like you said, I love his facial expressions. He's yeah. such a performer. And this is what separates him from a lot of the other comedians because some of the other comedians, act actually, they just tell jokes. Yeah. When George is is he's doing his it. bit, yes, he is performing. He is and a this is yeah. This is really cool. And, it is, and it's so cool how like these um bits that he's done mm -hmm. they're so old but they're still so relevant yeah he had bell bottoms on so this was like 70s or 80s yeah and he had a head full of hair yeah, he, was, he was just like right. 
you know, tossing the hair back. I was like, you go, right. George. So definitely <laughs> excited to do some more George Collins, guys. So if you have any suggestions or requests, leave them down below in the comment section. Uh, and as always, we have a full playlist of other comedians. So y'all can definitely check that out. We have Bill Burr, um, Chappelle, and Patrice O'Neill, and we're adding more to that. So, like I said, uh, leave some com suggestions down below in the comment section for other comedians, but also leave some suggestions for your favorite George Carlin skit that we should check out. Okay. Any anyway, uh, like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time. Peace.